This time it's the men taking to the floor as they take on the La Cité Coyotes. First round playoff action. You look at the season stats between these two teams. St. Clair dominant in most categories, especially in the points per game. 25 points better than La Cité. Rebounds four and a half better. St. Clair are heavy favorites for this game, but playoffs changes everything. That's why they play the games. Saints have to be careful with this Coyotes team. They've got some big guys, that's for sure. Let's take a look at the visiting Coyotes and what they did during the season. The Coyotes were on the losing end of uh, their regular season uh, standings. As we take a look at their last five games, going one and four, not very good heading into the playoffs, that's for sure. The guy that you uh, want to watch, though, a couple of guys you want to watch. Three. John David St. Louis. Also, this gentleman right here, number eight, Nelson Glenn. Or Cillian, I should say. Cillian, a guy that has been pretty good all season long. Actually, I'm saying his name incorrectly, Soleil. Their opponent, the Saints, of course, we've watched them all season long. They were 8-1 and one here at home, 15-3 and three overall, Western Conference champions. They could score, no question about it. Uh, even with the field goal percentage at 47, they would probably like that to be a little bit better. Rebounds per game, very good, 23.5. 4-1 in their last five games, including their last outing where they beat Fanshawe 76 70 that was on the road so the Saints come into this game on fire that guy right there has been outstanding all season long Josiah Deer he's the leader of this team 15.2 points per game 5.4 rebounds he's in his fifth year Deer of course part of that championship team last year so a lot of good experience on that St. Clair team it's going to be a tough battle for La Cité but again you take nothing for granted here at the OCA playoffs is a different beast that is for sure when we come back to the sportsplex it's the opening tip and the call you're watching ocaa men's playoff basketball action on we digital productions Welcome back to the St. Clair College Sportsplex as we're just moments away from the opening tip. OCAA men's playoff basketball action here on Wii Digital. The La Cité Coyotes here to take on the St. Clair Saints. The opening lineups have been introduced and we are getting the lights back on, which is good. That helps me. And we're set to go here for some exciting OCAA basketball. An outstanding officiating crew for this game. The veteran Mr. Paul Carter, also David Karinja, and Chad Pereira are three officials for this game. A solid officiating crew. No doubt we'll call a great game here tonight. La Cité wins the opening tip. Again, the guy you want to watch is number eight, Nelson Cillier. Jante with the ball right now. Or check that, that, that was Sare. Saints come over, come up with the turnover. Here's Petty over to Vincent Simon. Vincent Simon right to the bucket. Doesn't get it to go. Rebounds there. No. Cite comes up with the ball. Habu Karama. Shot that goes wide. Here's 
Cilier, he's denied. Gets his own rebound. That three attempt goes off the back of the rim. Saints rebound. Loyak up court for St. Clair. Quick pass, Mason Tia starting tonight. Gets the first bucket of the game inside. A nice feed down low. Habakurama, Diaby, Saray over to Janti. Janti can't get anywhere with it. Three point attempt here. That's off the rim. Saints all over the rebound. That's Purdy that came up with the rebound. Loyak tries a three. He can't hit it. Pretty good pace to start this game. Saints up 2 nothing early on here. Cilier, his three is good. Cilier is the player to watch on the Cité. He's outstanding. Loyak slowly up the floor for the Saints now. Watched by Habakurama. And the turnover is for us. Here's Cilier. Cilier pulls up for a moment, then decides to go to the bucket with it. Josiah Deer is there for the Saints on the defense. Loyak can't get the ball over to his teammate. That was Mazen Tia. Tipped out of bounds. Saints ball. 19 seconds on the shot clock. 3-2. Coyotes. 7.42 to go here in the first quarter. Vincent Simon takes the throw in. Loyak, Deer, Loyak. Short jumper, can't go. Can't get it to go, I should say. Habu Kurama. Habu Kurama tries to go to the Oh, he can't finish there. Deer now for the Saints. Over to Vincent Simon. Vincent Simon, a short jumper. He's fouled on the way. Referee Perez making the call. Foul's going to be against Cilier, number eight. Simon goes to the foul line for the first time. Makes good with his first one, tying the game. And good from the second one. Saints up a point now. Cilier. Diaby back to Cilier. Habakurama. Over to Cilier, watched by Deer. Cilier pulls up, quick jumper. No. Diaby. Quick low pass to Habakaraba. He can't finish. Saints come right back quickly. Loyak. Darnell Petty now. Petty goes to the hole. He's blocked. Deer takes the pass. Petty puts up a three. He's going to be short and wide. Celia now comes up with the loose ball for the Coyotes. Good play there by Simon, but Celia gets it back. A good effort there by Celia for the Coyotes. Celia now will try the three. Short. Tia with the rebound for the Saints to Loyak. Vincent Simon.
Saints leading here 6-5. Both these teams looking to play on next week. Earlier today, the women's Saints team advanced to the next round of the playoffs. They'll be back here at home next weekend. You can see the Coyotes record during the season, their numbers. I think this team's a little bit deceiving, to be honest with you folks. That 4-14 record, I'm not sure about that. I think they're a much better team than 4-14. They've got some really good size. They've got some really good skill. I think this team is on its way up. They're a young squad, this uh, Coyotes team, so future looks good for them. Ricardo Jante on the line here. Makes the first one. Makes the second one, gives the Coyotes the lead here. Stewart now for the Saints. Petty kicks it out to Stewart. Back into Petty, right through the paint. He's blocked big time there by number seven. Diaby. Here's Celia. Right in the middle, can't get it to go. Tia with the rebound for the Saints to Stewart. Quickly up court for the Saints. Deer. Petty. Petty. Dishes off to Stewart. Stewart pumps, then puts it up. Oh, what a play by number 11, Tim Stewart. Beautiful bucket. Not a great effort. One point lead for the Saints. Right away, the Coyotes come back and recapture the lead. Good pace to start this game. Petty to Stewart. Stewart right to the rim and makes good on it. He had a lane to the rim and took it. Diaby, a short jumper at the foul line, makes good for the Coyotes. Stewart, Deer, his first shot, no good. Tia, good heads up play there by Tia to bounce it off one of the Coyotes players and send it out of bounds. Substitutions for both teams as number six, Nana Churlu, Churlu comes in for La Cité. And there's a long shot taken by Galdo Tutu, who just came into the game for the Saints. And he's good on it also coming in for the Saints. Len Willis Paris, number 23. Both coaches making early substitutions here. Abakurama can't get it to go. Chad Vincent Simon up to Stewart. Stewart pulls up briefly. Now moves over to the right side, dishes it off. Here's Petty with a shot, and he's good for three. And just like that, the Saints have grabbed the five-point lead, 16-11. Head coach Namoni Kone calls a timeout, wants to talk it over and slow it down perhaps a little bit, but really nice pace to start this game. And the Saints have grabbed the five-point lead. You see the Saints numbers during the regular season. They're on a four-game winning streak coming into the playoffs. 95.3 points per game. Rebounds, very good. Three points, 35%. And the free throws are at 68%. So some solid numbers put up during the regular season by the St. Clair Saints. And, of course, that 15-3 and record, 15 and three record, good enough to win the Western Conference uh, regular season crown. That's back-to-back -back years for the Saints. Coyotes coming in from the Ottawa area. Came in last night, so got a good rest. And they've been running toe-to-toe -to -toe so far early on here with the Saints.
Tutu, Chad, Vincent, Simon, Petty, Stewart, and Glenn Willis Paris on the court for the Saints right now. Here's Celier. Celier being guarded by Vincent Simon. Sare can't do anything with it. Saints come up with the loose ball. Here's Stewart. Stewart pulls up over to Petty. Tutu back to Stewart, left handed, can't get it to go. Habakurama. Foul on the play as the Saints will be guilty. Kaloji, a nice bucket there for the Coyotes. Sixteen thirteen Saints. Stewart again right to the bucket. Maybe a little too far underneath. Couldn't finish. Abakurama comes back for the Cité. Cilier sends it out. Pass doesn't connect. Here's Chad Vincent Simon going hard to the hoop. Lays it in nicely. Good turnover by the Saints and a nice finish by Chad Vincent Simon. Abakurama kicks it out to the far side. That's Celier. Pulls up, jumper. Does get the fall into the hoop. Paris out to Stewart. Back to Petty. He'll try the three. And he's good. That's six for Petty. Saints have a six point lead. Habakurama. Looks around, tries to go down low. Ball comes back out. Here's Habakurama again. Long three, oh my, he makes it. That's three for Habakurama. Petty. Paris, Paris, posting up, back out to Petty. Kicks it out to Chad Vincent Simon. He's got all kinds of room. Can't get it to fall. Saints ball though. As Saray couldn't control it off the rebound. Loyak for the Saints. Long three there by Josiah Deer. Deer gets his first tray of the game. Celier comes right back with a three of his own, doesn't go. Saints come up with the rebound. Ujulu up to Loyak. Loyak. Pulls up, looks over the situation, being guarded closely there. By St. Louis, number, I right, check that, that's number five. Mimbula. Mimbula wears number five for the CK. That's the end of the first quarter, a fast first quarter. Wow, that was lightning speed. Saints come up with an eight point lead after 10 minutes of play. They lead the La Cité Coyotes 26-18. A quick timeout. We'll continue our coverage of OCAA men's playoff basketball action on We Digital Productions. It, 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 there's no Let me chance. Show you how to putt it? <laughs> Yeah, show me how to do it. <laughs> I think you showed him. You cannot <laughs> script that any better. Uh, Johnny 
Ray says there's no way you can make it to the bank without chipping. Sorry that much. Saints come away with an eight point lead, but an incredible pace to that first quarter. See if both teams continue working at that clip. Loyak takes the ball for the start of the second quarter. Ujulu over to Tutu. Saints lose the ball though. Cilier pulls up for La Cite. Long three attempt there by number 11. That's Kalonji. He's successful with that one. Loyak weaving his way through, can't finish. The Cité comes up with the ball. Another long three here. This one comes up way short, caught the bottom of the rim. The Cité gets a second chance here. Cilier. Into the middle. That was Nganji that couldn't finish there for the Cité. Back come the Saints. And an easy bucket there for Tutu. Off the rebound. The Saints continue to lead by seven. Offensive foul committed by the Coyotes. I believe that's going to be on uh, number one, Saray. That's his first foul. Loyak pulls up at the side of the rim. That ball poked out of his hands by, actually they're calling a foul against La Cité. Deer over to Loyak. And Deer is called for the foul as he grabbed onto the Coyotes player. E.K. Neelik, number four for the Coyotes now in the game. He was the player that was fouled. He's going to go to the foul line. E.K. Neelik misses his first free throw. Makes the second one. Coyotes playing tough right now against the Saints. Down six here. Cilier takes the pass. Saints all over that rebound as the shot coming off of Saray's head. Loyak slowly up court. 
Loyak gets a lane to the hoop and makes it happen for the Saints. E.K. Lee, number four. E.K. Nielik was chirping pretty good at Loyak. See what the call is. Rich, uh, coach, uh, I should say official Chad Pereira making the call. So both teams are. Both teams have been charged with a foul here. Actually, Loyak was issued a technical foul. Diaby comes back into the game for the Coyotes, number seven. Janti for the Coyotes. Three point attempt, doesn't go. There's a foul on the Coyotes. It's gonna be against number seven, back into the game, Diaby over the back. This game, this uh, quarter a little more choppy than that of the first quarter. A lot of whistles to start off here in this second quarter. Nice effort there by Hanani Ujulu. Gets the Saints a couple of points. Cecilia can't hit. Petty with the rebound for St. Clair. Petty pulls up, can't find the mark. Cilier over to Jean T, back to Cilier. Tried to go inside, Petty's there to intercept for the Saints. Paris, Pet, Deer, Saints really moving the ball well here, Petty. A three doesn't make it. Back come the Coyotes. Sare misses everything with that shot. Here's Josiah Deer. Having a hard time controlling the basketball. St. Clair ball there as it was kicked. Saints going to make some substitution. Back into the game comes... Chad Vincent Simon, also Mason Tia, number 14 for St. Clair. And La Cité, I believe, has called a timeout here. Saints leading by 10, 32-22 here in the second quarter. Here's a look at the Eastern Conference standings, how it finished up during the regular season. Durham with an outstanding record of 17 and 1. George Brown, another good campaign. Eastern Conference, very competitive. And again, I, I really believe this La Cité Coyotes team, even though they're 4 and 14, I would say they're much better than what their record indicates. At least, you know, we don't get to see them often, as we see maybe a future St. Clair St. basketball player there, but we don't get to see them often. But uh, just in judging uh, here early on, this is a pretty good basketball team. And again, they're a young team, a lot of first and second year players. They only have one player that's got the, a three year status. And that's uh, number one, of course, Chabi Sare. So the Saints uh, are in tough with these guys. And uh, I, I'm saying La Cité, you know, making it to the playoffs. That's going to be great uh, experience for them heading into next season for sure. Here's 
Vincent Simon takes the throw in. Pulls up, sends it out to Tia. To Tia. Deer with a runner and he gets it to fall. Josiah Deer now with five points for the Saints. Foul on number three, Darnell Petty of the Saints here. Aki Nilek throw in to Janty. Back to Janty it goes. Diabli. Diabli with a good shot. Successful there. Saints try to quickly get it back up court. Tipped out of bounds. Simon, back to Petty, looking for some help. A great effort here by the Coyotes. Number four, that's Akini Lek, but a good defensive play there. Also by Tia Meza, or Mazen Tia, I should say. Hustling back to block the shot. That shot, a miss from three point. Petty comes back for the Saints. Deer to Petty. Petty steps back for the three. He's fouled. By Diaby. Petty will go to the free throw line. Second foul on Diaby. Petty's good with the first one. Good with the second one. And Petty gets all three of them. So a three point play for the Saints. They have a 13 point lead now with just over five minutes to go here in the first half. Good ball movement here by the Coyotes. That pass deflected. A long three that doesn't hit. Saints come up with the loose ball. Oh my dear. Starting to heat up a little bit, Josiah dear. Saints have jumped out to a 16 point lead now, their biggest lead of the game. Deer has eight. That shot partially blocked. Diaby gets the loose ball. Looking for a teammate. Shot clock down to two, one. No, the shot doesn't get off. Ujulu comes up with the rebound. Saints move down the floor quickly. Tia, nice little spin move. Finds the back of the hoop. Gets it to fall. Diaby. Lenardi is blocked by the Saints. The Saints really playing a stingy defense right now. And Tia is fouled on the follow up there on the rebound. But the Saints really turning it up right now. And making life really miserable for the Coyotes on the defensive side and then on the offensive end they're starting to heat up as well have a 42 24 lead here with 339 to go in the second quarter Celier comes back into the game for the Coyotes number eight also joining him is number six hey, 
Neil Chunkyu. Chunkyu. Folks, I apologize. I'm doing my best with these names. First time I've seen them. And I'll tell you what, they're a challenge. Habakurama gets the ball back, sends it out to Celia. Celia pulls up, sends it down low, and it works well there for the Coyotes. They get their first bucket in a while. Ujulu back out to Deer. Deer is starting to feel it, that's for sure. Deer now has 11. And the Saints have a 20 point lead. Great effort there by the Coyotes, number six, Nana. Oh boy, this one's a tough one, folks. Nana Chinku. Chinkua, I believe it is. Could be a three-point play here for the Coyotes. Stewart now for the Saints. Moves it up quickly. Stewart's had a good first half here. Petty. Deer. Simon. Tia. Back to Simon. Simon. All kinds of traffic in front of him. Simon gets his own rebound and sticks with it. Simon now with eight points for the Saints. Cilie, Habakurama, gets the ball back, does Habakurama, that pass intercepted by Deer, and Deer too much on that pass as he was trying to send Stewart off. Just under two minutes to go here in the first half. Saints with a 19 point cushion, they've been as high as 20. That pass deflected. Coyotes are able to come up with the loose ball. Habakurama, here's Celia inside. And the Saints again anticipating well, come up with the turnover. Petty misses the easy one. Maybe a little bit undecided what he wanted to do with it there. St. Clair is going to call a timeout with 1.23 to go. They have a 19 point lead. As we look at that last play. Western Conference, that's how it ended up. Saints again, regular season champions. Humber a couple of games behind them. You know, you go as low as the Lambton Lions, they're at nine and nine. Lampton's a very scrappy team. They could surprise people in the playoffs. Again, this is a, a, a very um, tough, tough conference, this Western Conference. Saints were able to put together a very solid campaign. Of course, they bring back a lot of playoff experience from last year when they made it to the Nationals. That's the goal this year for that Saints team, to get back and give themselves a chance to grab a medal. Full court press. Here by the Coyotes, Saints are able to break it. D 
Goodyear with all kinds of time here. Can't get it to fall. Fall in. Coyotes come back. Habukurama. Habukurama now slowly looks it over. Sends it to the left side. Gets it back. Goes inside to Sare. And he's fouled. Take a look at some of the action inside here closely. And there's the push by Chad Vincent Simon, number five. That's his first foul of the game. First one's good. Second one is good as well. That was Ekimelik, number four. Both players falling here. It's going to be La Cité ball, I believe. As we take a look at that one more time. Diaby for La Cité will throw it in. Quickly to Hab Habakurama. Lacite trying to go inside. We have a player down for Lacite. Looks like he slipped, actually. I caught it out of the corner of my eye. It was away from the play, but looks like he slipped. Not sure what's going to happen here with the ball. It's going to go back to the Saints, I believe. Stewart to Vincent Simon. He quickly gets it up court, and he's fouled. So Chad Vincent Simon will go to the foul line. Number 12, Habukurama, charged with the foul. That's his first of the game. Simon's good with the first one. And he makes the second one. Saints now at 50. Saray, a nice runner, makes it good. Stewart is fouled, reaching in was Saray. Glenn Willis Paris coming back into the game for the Saints. Stewart at the foul stripe. Short with that one. And makes the second one. Hanani Ujulo comes back into the game for St. Clair number 13. Shot clock is off as we're under 10 seconds to go here. Habakurama. Ujula with the boards and that's gonna end the first quarter. Saints come away with a 17 point lead. A much choppier second quarter than that of the first. But we're halfway through this one and the Saints looking pretty good right now with an 18 point lead. We're gonna take a break. We'll come back in about 10 minutes. 
take a look at some of the stats from that first half. And we'll have the call of the second half. You're watching OCAA Men's Playoff Basketball on We Digital Productions. Every child should learn how to swim, for health, for safety, and for fun. That's why we've started Canada's Swim Team. Learn to swim at least 25 meters on your own, and you're on the team. Canada's Swim Team. It's that easy. Help make us the world's largest swim team by adding your name at getswimming.ca. Ask your parents first. Swimming, the only sport that can save your life. Tickets are on sale now for the 17th Annual Westby Awards on Tuesday, April 30th. The Kubota Club will be filled with local athletes, teams, and coaches just waiting to hear their names announced as a nominee or this year's recipient. You'll even get to hear from golf legend Jack Nicklaus, but you have to have a ticket. Tickets are available at westbytickets at gmail.com. Don't wait or you might just miss your chance to be a part of history. It, 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 there's no Let chance. Let me show you I'll... how to putt it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show me how to do it. <laughs> I think you showed him. You cannot <laughs> script that any better. Uh... Johnny says there's no way you can make it from down there without chipping. Last year, Jack Morris. This year, Jack Nicholas. Back-to-back -back Jack at the 17th Annual Westby Awards, where we hand out the hardware to the best local athletes, teams, and coaches. We'd love to have you attend on Tuesday, April 30th at the Komodo Club. With limited seating available, mark your calendars. This is going to be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. sir where are you coming from i was just at a buddy's watching a game have you consumed any alcohol tonight i had a couple of beers thanks can i ask you to step out of the vehicle please how many drinks does it take to impair your ability to drive safely having even just a few casual drinks can impair your driving ability to the point that you could lose your license for at least three days or more hi honey can you come pick me up play it safe with alcohol if you plan on drinking don't plan on driving
Welcome back to the St. Clair College Sportsplex here in Windsor, Ontario. We're at halftime OCA men's basketball playoff action here on We Digital. The hometown Saints leading the La Cité Coyotes, 51-33. Pretty fast first quarter, choppy second quarter. We'll see what happens here in the third as the Saints have opened up an 18-point lead. Entertaining basketball, though, and again, I really think this uh, La Cité uh, squad much better than their 4-14 four and 14 record. Uh, they've played the Saints tough, that's for sure. Look at some of the numbers here. Uh, the shooting is where the big difference is, for sure. You look at the Saints, 50% in both three-point and field goal percentage, whereas La Cité way off the mark there. Uh, free throws, not too bad, pretty even. Saints uh, winning the turnover battle. Uh, rebounds, the Saints also leading there. Uh, and this, you can see where the Saints, the key stats, the Saints, the blocks. The Saints also leading by four there. So key stats uh, making the difference, and that's why you see the Saints up by 18 points here after two quarters of play. Both teams have returned to the court, and again, the winner of this game will move on to next weekend. If the Saints are to hold on as we take a look at the brackets, there's been a couple of upsets. Seneca beats Niagara. Number five beats number four, 75-70 in overtime. The real shocker, Sheridan stuns Georgian, 110 to 86. Humber moves on, no surprise there. George Brown moves on, no surprise there. Mohawk also moving on. The Saints, if they win, will play the winner of the Centennial Fanshawe game. And that'll be next weekend at 5 p.m. On, on Sunday, actually, they have that scheduled. So Saints have to hold on here to play the winner of that game. And uh, But the Sheridan game, boy, that's a huge shocker right there. Uh, hats off to the Bruins there coming up with a victory against Georgian. That's what I say, folks. <laughs> Take nothing for granted in the OCAA, that's for sure. And uh, you look at even this game, uh, despite the score right now, uh, still a lot of time left, but the Saints uh, look like they have things under control right now. As we are set to begin the second half. Again, I want to give a shout out to the officials calling an outstanding first half of basketball. Paul Carter, Dave Cringa, and also Chad Pereira doing a nice job calling this uh, very intense game. Loyak pulls up for the Saints. Deer pumps, fakes. Now lets it off. Doesn't make it. Tia with the rebound. Out to Loyak. Out to Deer. Chad Vincent Simon now pulls up for a three. He's short as well. Cilier for the Coyotes comes up with the loose ball. And that one intercepted there by Petty over to Vincent Simon. He'll pull up and lays one in nice and soft. First points of the second half here go to the Saints. They have a 20 point lead, Celia now. Celia, the long shot, doesn't make it. Petty will come up with the loose ball. Deer fumbles it momentarily. Nice job there by Tia to keep it alive. Petty, down low to Vincent Simon. Lots of time. Can't get it to fall. Diaby gives to Kalonji. And the See uh, Coyotes Diaby with a pair there. Loyak, Deer, Vincent, Vincent going to the middle, kicks it out. Loyak will try the three. Can't make it fall. Celia will come up with the rebound, slowly brings it up court. Celia seems to be hobbling a little bit. Number eight of the Coyotes, the key player. He doesn't look comfortable in his movements. We'll keep an eye on him. Chad Vincent Simon decides to pull up. Dishes low. 
Tia hangs on to make it fall. Saints have regained their 20 point lead here. That shot way off. Deer with the rebound. This is over to Petty, back to Deer. Petty at the top. Deer. Loyak. Deer inside to Tia. Out to Loyak. Petty cutting through the key and. We have a foul, I believe, away from the ball. Diaby is the guilty party with a block. Diaby now with his third foul. Boy, a long three makes it good. Nice job there by Loyak. Loyak now with seven points. Diaby. Celia pulls up and a nice jumper. Celia now with nine points. Deer. Vincent Simon. Petty. <laughs> Foul on the play on the rebound. The Cite coaching staff not liking that call. Saints will retain the ball. 14 on the shot clock. Loyak. Petty can't get that to fall. Here's Celia with the rebound. Over the half court, pulls up, lets his teammates catch up with him. Celia will go to try a three. Can't get it to fall. Petty gets control of it. Loyak right to the basket, draws the foul. Good move there by Andrew Loyak, a first year player out of Windsor here. Loyak's good with his first one. the second one. Saints with their biggest lead I believe of the game now with 23 point cushion here. Diaby pulls up. Can't get it to hit. Here's Loyak again on the run and we're going to get a travel call against Loyak. Habukurama into Diaby, a nice play down below. And Diaby finishes off nicely. Vincent Simon pulls up, quick jumper. Pretty smooth there, Chad Vincent Simon. He now has 14 for the Saints. Diaby pulls up a jumper there, can't get it to hit. Loyak on the move for the Saints. Tried to get Tia going down low. Pass doesn't connect. Habukurama for the Coyotes. Celia. That pass intercepted by Chad Vincent Simon. 
Kia ends up finishing it off. Saints now up by 25. Saints defense has been outstanding tonight. Another turnover forced by the Saints. Deer is going to pull up for a three. And he hits it. The coaching staff at La Cite has seen enough. They want to talk it over here as the Saints have opened up a 28 point lead. It's the Saints defense tonight, I'll tell you what. I mean, offensively, you know what they're going to get all the time. They're, they're always going to score huge, but I'll tell you what. The defense has been outstanding tonight, forcing many turnovers. Earlier on this evening, the women's softball team was celebrated, putting up their national championship banner. What a year they had again. As they went to the nationals and also won the provincials. Back-to-back -back years now as national champions, the women's softball team. Certainly a team of excellence. Great coaching staff there led by Coach Wiseman. And there's, yeah, there's a couple of key players right there. Kressler and a few of the teams are players are still here actually. That's them celebrating still. Kressler was, I believe, player of the year. What a fun team that was to watch, though. For the last couple of years, I'll tell you what. They have set the bar very high. Oh, good effort there by Petty as he was fouled pretty aggressively, actually. But uh, he'll go to the foul line. You saw also Amy Clayton there with Kressler, another outstanding player with the women's softball team. Just so much talent on that team everywhere. But really, Clayton, Kressler, Baltzer, they were the catalyst. You throw in Shayla and Murphy there. My, oh my, there just wasn't a weak spot on that team. Petty gets both of them to fall. He now has 11 for the Saints. 30 point lead, biggest lead of the game for St. Clair. Saray makes it fall for Cite. Chad Vincent Simon, so smooth, oh my God. He is just outstanding, Chad Vincent Simon. Yeah, Saints fans like that stuff, that's for sure. That's good stuff, I'll tell you. Watching Chad Vincent Simon, just so smooth. Whoa. How do you stop that? You don't. <laughs> Gotta just love watching Chad Vincent Simon play, that's for sure. And he's stuck at 16 points right now. Saints again with a 30 point lead here. Habakurama, a long shot that doesn't hit anything. Lynn Willis Paris to Loyak. Paris will pull up for the three. He gets it to go. The Saints are just on fire now. They're all feeling it. Willis Paris with a three there. That ball kicked by Paris. Loader doesn't go for the Cite Coyotes. Saray can't get the shot off clean. There's a foul on the plays. Again, the Saints defense today has been 
really solid. Here we take a look at the foul, but uh, yeah, the Saints defense has been really stingy here. Causing fits for the Coyotes. Sare hits the first one. He now has seven. Saray gets the second one. Loyak. Again, good ball movement and finishing it off there. Daldo Tutu. Third year player out of Windsor here. Nothing falling for the Coyotes right now. Just over two minutes to go here in the third quarter. All Saints right now. Loyak kicks it out. Tutu can't get that one to fall. Ujula with the rebound. Tutu another shot. It doesn't fall. Saints again. Another opportunity here. Stewart. Ujulu. Paris. Can't get it to fall. And another turnover here. Wow. John David St. Louis comes into the game for the Coyotes wearing number three. I don't know what I'm going to do with that name. It's too easy. <laughs> John David St. Louis, number three for the Coyotes. Mazloum in for the Saints as well. He's got a runner, can't finish it. And here's St. Louis with his first touch. Shantae is fouled. Two shots coming up. Ricardo Jante on the line here. He makes the first one. That's his third point of the game. Jante makes the second one. Maslum now for the Saints. Very easy bucket there for Hanani Julu. Julu now with four points in limited playing time. Shante making some nice moves off the backboard, doesn't go. Coyotes get the ball back. Oh my, tough shot, but Sare makes it fall for the Coyotes. Good effort there. He has 10 for the Coyotes. Good defense there by La Cité. Quickly down the floor, Sare pulls up and he gets it to fall. Wanting to fall too. Stewart pulls up for the Saints. Pulls back. Foul is on the Cité, number six. Neil Chun Kyu. That's his second foul. Stewart 
Stewart misses the first one. Second one goes. Stewart now with seven. Shot clock is off as we're in the final seconds here of the third quarter. Sarre is fouled, trying to go to the basket. Looks like number 23, Glenn Willis Paris. Six point four seconds here. Good effort there. Uh, that basket will count. So three quarters is complete here, and the Saints, with a comfortable twenty-nine point cushion, they lead the Coyotes eighty to fifty-one. A quick timeout. We'll come back with the final quarter. You're watching OCAA men's basketball playoff action on Wii Digital. It, 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 there's no Wanna chance. Show you how to putt it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show me how to do it. <laughs> I think you saw him. You cannot script that any better. Johnny says there's no way he can make it to death there without chipping. But he was also an All-American, second team in this time to right. Four back line this time. It's across the original line of scrimmage. Tackle just shy of the first down. Burrell looks for a spot. Burrell shoots it and scores on the near side. One mistake, and the booking a trip to the prairies. Welcome back to the St. Clair College Sportsplex here in Windsor, Ontario. We are heading to the fourth quarter. Quick stats pack for you. Bench points, the Saints leading there by six. Second chance points, they've doubled La Cité. Points in the paint, a huge difference there as well on the fast break points. And that's why the Saints have a 29 point lead here heading into this last quarter. Stewart with a great effort there. He now has nine. Move it, move it. Nice effort to keep that ball alive. Saints come up with it though. Here's Maslum, Ujulu, Paris, fighting inside. See what the call is here. It's gonna go against La Cité. That's St. Louis, number three. Cillier comes back into the game, number eight for the Coyotes. He's had a somewhat of a quiet night. Mazloum looking for some space. Still holds on to the ball and Jante is able to knock it out. St. Clair is gonna call a timeout.
again, St. Clair looking like they're going to win this one. That means they'll play back here. And that game right now is tentatively, tentatively scheduled at Sunday at 5 p.m. as we look at J Josiah Deer's night. So far, 14 points, 6 rebounds. Really a lot of good scoring been spread around here tonight by the Saints. But you know, Josiah Deer is always going to be among the top scorers. Game in and game out. Stewart will throw in for the Saints. And a divine play there. Doesn't finish though as Tutu grinning a little bit. Knew he should have had that one perhaps, but a nicely executed play for the Saints. Just couldn't finish it. St. Louis now for the Coyotes. Mas Maslum gets a hand on it momentarily. Celia takes advantage of the loose ball and an easy bucket for him. Celia with 11 points for the Coyotes. Glenn Willis Paris decides to put it up. He comes up short. This is Jante. St. Louis, Cillier. Cillier will try the three, finds nothing there. Saints come up with it temporarily, but the Coyotes strip it away. Chante is too long with that one. Paris hangs on to it. In some some talk, some tripping going on afterwards. Maybe some frustration setting in there on the part of the Coyotes. Here's Loyak for St. Clair. Paris tripped up there, hustles back. And La Cité again, another unforced turnover. Takes away a scoring chance. Josiah Deer back into the game for the Saints. Loyak. Ujulu trying to find a lane and oh my, what an effort. Ujulu does a good job of hanging in there and finishing it off. Chante blocked by Paris. Chante is fouled as he goes up. That's Paris's fourth or second, I should say, second foul of the contest. Shantae good with his first ball shot. And he makes the second one. 84-55, Shantae now with six points. 
Harris, Julu, Royak takes a look, decides to pull up. Now he decides to throw it up and can't get it to fall, fall in. Boy, there's a lot of pushing away from the ball here. Saints force another turnover. This one's getting chippy in some areas, I'll tell you. Mason Tia is coming back into the game for the Saints. Paris is going to take a seat. Chad Vincent Simon also comes back in, replacing Hani, Hanani Ujulu. Simon, Tia, Tutu gets it up and the basket will count. Draws the foul. Kimilik with the foul. That's his first foul, believe it or not. He's a pretty aggressive player. Three point try, misses everything. Here come the Saints. Chad Vincent Simon. Oh, yeah, he makes it look easy. Not going to stop him on those type of plays. Saints coasting right now with a 33-point lead. Celia's shot comes up way short. Loya quickly up to Deer. Deer will try a three, can't get it to go. Saints on the rebound though. Loya goes up and an easy little hopper right in the key. Loya gets the Saints to the 90-point mark. Loya with 11 points. Lenardi looking down low and that pass way too high as Lenardi was being double covered. Three players coming in here for the Coyotes. Diaby number seven, also number five. Mbula comes in for the Coyotes. Vincent Simon, a little bit too much on that one. Celia tries to go underneath, can't get it to fall. Celia still looks like he's hobbling a little bit. Loyak with a push up. Take a look at it here as Loyak. Determined to get to that basket no matter who gets in his way. Just over five to go here. Saints well under control. They will live to play again next week here at the Sportsplex, as, as will the uh, women. So another couple of good basketball games coming up here at the Sportsplex next week. Check the St. Clair site for all the dates and information. Also, you can check with We Digital Productions. We'll get the information up there as well. The women will play against George Brown. We do know that. The Saints will have to wait until tomorrow, the men, to find out who their opponent will be as they await the winner of the Centennial Fanshaw game. That takes place tomorrow afternoon. But that game will definitely be here at the Sportsplex. And right now, tentatively, I can tell you that game looks like it's going to be on Sunday at 5 o'clock. Oh my, there you go. Nice feed by Loyak. Tia. Well executed. Habukurama. Can't finish. Vincent Simon. Yeah, he'll do the same. Saints running away with this one right now. Time out, La Cité. There you take a look at it. Loya, a nice little feed to Tia. Perfectly timed. And then moments after that, well, we just missed out on the 
Chad Vincent Simon stuff. Oh, here we go. Simon just pulls up, lets his defender run right by him, and he finishes it off easily. All Saints here. Tell you what, the first quarter, Saints jumped out to a good lead, but you thought, you know what, this game was going to be pretty competitive, but I'll tell you what, I think it was the Saints defense that really made a big difference here tonight. I mean, we know the offense is always going to be there. They average 95 points a game as we take a look at some of the, the numbers from the game here, but, uh, you know, Saints are always going to score points, but their defense tonight, I think, was was just exceptional. As Griff has had enough, he's tired. He's going to pack it in for the night. <laughs> He's worked hard here today. He's had a busy day, three games. Griff has earned the break, that's for sure. Yabi turns it over again. There again, that aggressive defense. The Saints very, very tough on the ball here tonight. That was uh, William Buffon taking that shot for the Saints. I think that's the first time he's been on the floor tonight. Actually, everybody getting a little bit of playing time. Malcolm Perrin, first year player for the Saints, number 21 is also out. Adam Maslum, second year player out of Windsor also on the court. Coach Segan and Coach Sykes getting everybody a little bit of playing time here tonight. Saints force another turnover. Numerous occasions, the Coyotes have not even been able to get a shot off. Stewart, nice move. Oh, just can't get it to go. Stewart's been impressive tonight as well. Adam Maslin with the rebound, rushes it up court. Stewart, Maslum, Bufang, can't get it to fall. Diaby. Chante can't do anything with it. Saints come up with another turnover. Maslum, Buffon going to try a three. No, Maslum, rebound, that's good. Rody Maslum gets on the score sheet. Under two minutes to go in this one now. As there's a foul there. Looks like... Number 11, that's Stewart with the foul. That's going to be his second. Habu Karama on the line here. This is the first one. Second one. Habu Karama is going to come out of the game. One fifty-nine to go here. Full court press by the Coyotes. Maslum is able to break away. Bufang in all kinds of traffic. He's fouled. Good effort here by Rody Maslum to break the press. And then it's Bufang.
Trying to get to the basket. Gets tripped up. Fong is good on the line. Saints two points away from the century mark. Traveling is going to be the call here. Maslum gets his third and fourth points of the game. That shot misses everything, but picking up the rebound is number 32, and Ganji. Ganji with his first two points of the game there. Turn over there, Mazlu. Bufang makes a move inside. And Adam Mazlu with the three, the Saints have 103 now. A 45 point lead, 40 seconds to go in this one. Foul there on the shot. Sare will go to the foul line. All academic at this point, of course. Okay, I've got some information for our followers. There will be a double header here Saturday next weekend. The women will play at five o'clock. They'll play against George Brown as the final buzzer goes. The men will play at 7.30 and their opponent will be the winner of the Centennial Fanshawe game. So another double header back here next Saturday. The Saints win this one 103 to 60. We're gonna take a quick time out. When we come back, we'll have our post game wrap and send you off for the night. This is OCAA Men's Basketball on We Digital Productions. It, 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 there's no Let chance. Show you how to putt it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show me how to do it. Trip. 
to the prairies. Tickets are on sale now. Welcome back to the beautiful St. Clair College Sportsplex here in Windsor, Ontario. OCAA men's basketball playoff action here on We Digital. There's the score. The Saints win it by 43. They advance to the next round. A very convincing victory here tonight, 103 to 60. Joining me on the broadcast, the associate co-head coach. Whatever you uh, You want. know what, you and Sykes, uh, <laughs> you guys are all one. So. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, certainly one of the guy that uh, does a great job working with this team is uh, Coach Brendan Segan. Thanks for doing this with us, Coach. Yeah. And, you know what, We before coming on air here out of the commercial break, I uh, mentioned to you the defense I thought was really impressive. You agreed, and you mentioned that you really focused on that. Why was that? Yeah, um, about three, four weeks ago after our Humber road trip, we just felt like we were leaking a little bit and had some issues that we had to, uh, to solve, and we just... That whole week after, we just put in a new defensive, not system, but changed a few things up, worked on our intensity, and we've been we've been pretty good since. So mm -hmm. it's been a focus on ours. We know we could score, um, and we think we can, but there's going to be a game where we don't score, and we need to play defense. So that's mm -hmm. the that's been the focus, and it was good tonight. What does that say about this squad, though, Coach Segan? Uh, you know, it's late in the season, and you decide to make those you know, changes, I guess, on the defensive side, and, and obviously they've responded. Mm -hmm. uh, that speaks a lot about this team, I think. Yeah, it does. Uh, Darnell Petty defensively is our leader. Um, he's very smart on the defensive end of the court, and he's kind of been the coach on the court. And he, he's getting the guys in the right spots, and having all those veteran guys who've been in these games, late season, early season, they respond, and they've, they've been through everything we've done. So just having veteran guys has been really easy to put it in, um, and then they execute it. So it's easy to coach when, when you got guys like that. Yeah, well, we, we know the experience on this team is huge right now. I mean, going to the Nationals last year, of course, this season, uh, you had the bullseye on your back all year, mm -hmm. and yet you still come away with a 15-3 and three record. Very impressive, obviously. Uh, how prepared is this team now? And with that experience factor, it's going to get tougher. You know that. Yep. We all know that. Next week's going to be tougher. Yep. But, uh, you know, how does the preparation go now from this point on? Yeah, it's just a lot of guys who've been through it, like you said. So instead of having a slow start to the week, these guys know how to respond after a game like this and, and to prep and they know there's tough games coming, and, and even today in the first quarter we were challenged. Um, mm -hmm. And we didn't really start the game like we wanted to. Um, so that's something that they're, I'm sure they're talking about in the locker room right now and we'll address. But next weekend if we get Centennial or Fanshawe, both teams are good. They've both given us good runs, so we know it's going to be tough. And as the... As the playoffs progress, the games get more important. So The nice thing, though, Coach Segan, uh, you're here at your own barn. Mm -hmm. And that's what you've earned by winning the conference, winning the division. Uh, you get those perks and uh, well-earned, and that's where it pays dividends. Obviously, it goes without saying, but I'll say it, you have to take advantage of it. Yeah, I know we do, and that was our goal all year to get the two home playoff games. And we feel like we're one of the best teams in the country on our home court, and we love playing here. We shoot the ball well here. Um, so, yeah, we do have to take advantage of it, and I know next weekend uh, the crowd will come out, and they were good today, and they'll get better as we go. And we're excited to play here. We love playing here, and, and you never know. Maybe we'll get a Final Four here, but one game at a time. Oh and, <laughs> hey, we gotta we got to handle next weekend because those teams are going to be ready to play, and they're both very good. Yeah, you take nothing for granted for sure, but, yeah, it would be nice. There's the brackets right now. We'll take a quick look at it here with your Coach Segan. Mm -hmm. uh, the upset of the day right here, though, uh, Sheridan defeating uh, – Georgia, and, and, and again, we talk about this a lot on our broadcast. You take nothing for granted in this league. It's no. Every team is capable of beating every each other on any given night. That's yeah. why you have to bring your A game. Yeah, no, I agree. And Sheridan gave us trouble all year long, sure. so I'm not surprised to see them win. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it kind of makes you feel good that yeah, you're not the only one, right? Yeah, and then even that game now, I think I think they line up with Humber now, so yeah. that's a huge rivalry in a right. quarterfinal, so that's yeah. going to be wild to watch too. And Every, every game the rest of the way is going to be mm -hmm. tight, and, and teams who execute will win, and if you make little mental mistakes, you'll be in a tough spot. But we're really excited to keep going, and these guys, they've been focused all year for this. So Yeah, well, we're excited because we get to see this team play again. Yeah. I think everybody that watches this team, follows this team, is always excited to watch them play. So mm -hmm. cats off to you and the coaches uh, doing a great job getting these guys ready. Yeah. Uh, look forward to it next week. Yeah. and. Uh, Get a good week of practice in, all right? Appreciate it, Dom. Thanks. Coach Brendan Segan always doing a great job with this squad, that's for sure. His team, again, victorious here tonight, uh, very convincingly over La Cité. So as I just mentioned, I'll remind you one more time, 
Uh, we'll be back here next Saturday. Uh, the women will go at 5 o'clock. We know they'll play against George Brown. Uh, that's going to be a tough comp t uh, contest. That's not a give me by any means. And, uh, of course, the men will await the Centennial Fanshawe game, which will take place tomorrow afternoon. The Saints will play the winner of that. That game will tip off here at 7.30. Again, like Coach Segan just said, we'd like you to pack the place. But if you can't make it, tune in here, We Digital. Uh, we'll have all the action for you, and we're just thrilled to have it for you. So it'll be another exciting night of uh, basketball uh, 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 with both the men and the women. So that's the story here tonight. Uh, I want to give a shout-out to my crew here at We Digital. Long day, but boy, oh, boy, they handled it. They did a great job, as always. I appreciate their hard work so much, and uh, without them, we can't do this the way we do. So hopefully uh, the viewers at home appreciate it, but it certainly was a long day, and they handled it with uh, no problem and great professionalism. On behalf of everybody here at We Digital Productions, this is Dominic Papa wishing you a great night. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you all again very soon.